is all split time opposites. I'm combining poi split time opposites with arm split time opposites. And it's a bunch of fun, all kinds of different patterns you can make, but it requires being able to do split time opposites with your arms. And the better you can do that, the easier it will be. So we're just gonna talk about the arms to get you off to a good start. Step one is you wanna make sure you can turn comfortably with your body, like so. And you can do that either it can help to lift the back heel to put your turning away from, right? See how I'm, I'm turning my chest so I'm really getting 180 in each direction? Or you can lift the toe you're turning towards. So now I'm just lifting the toes I'm turning towards. So you want to be able to turn comfortably from side to side. Once you can do that in such a way that your knees are, are, are you're not torquing your knees, right? you're ready to progress. So play a little bit with that so you can turn. Then take your hands and you're simply going to make a motion like this at first. And the trick is, I mean, you can see your center line. The center line is the line coming right down the middle of your vision, right down your sternum. And your arms are going up and down the sternum like this, up and down your center line. The trick is you, you want to try to have one always above the other one. So you're not going like this. That would be the one over my head going way far back. So it's going way beyond the other one and not going like this, one hand's always above the other. So getting a sense for that, and that can take time. Then what you do, you go from here to here to here. One, two, three, four. So you're circling in split time opposites. To do, And notice my fingers are almost brushing and they're at the height of my shoulder. So if I were to go like this, notice the hand going over the top has to travel way further than the hand going through the bottom. So the speeds are completely different. If they're going from shoulder height to shoulder height, they're going the same distance and thus traveling at the same speed. If uh, you can do it inwards means it's like circles rolling towards each other. Outwards means it's circles rolling away from each other. And you want to be comfortable with both. And the tough thing that you will encounter is in the beginning, whatever shoulder you're turning towards, that arm is gonna to wanna to go first. You're gonna to wanna to go like this. And what'll happen is you'll go into another mode. You'll go in a split time, same direction or something. So it takes a little practice to let the arm you're turning towards kind of go a bit slow and the arm that's chasing to go a bit faster, that hand. So one hand always stays over the other. Can you throw me a poi? Just one. What you want is in the middle, you want to imagine you're stretching bubblegum, and if you tilt the bubblegum, you die, right? So you don't tilt the bubblegum. One hand's always over the other. And you, you hold the arms like this, and you go through split time opposites, and you help each other see that if you were to stop on the center line, we're not open like this. We're right on that center. And you can take turns, say I'm leading, I can bounce both hands off that center. So I'm gonna go bing, bing, bing. And that's helping me see where the center is. So if I'm leading, I can reverse it when we're hitting the center line. And I try to reverse it when both hands are on the center. Right? We're not stretching the bubble, we're not tilting the bubble gum. So I can go bing, 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 bing. Right? I can also do it at these points. So I can go bing, 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 bing. Just as I learn to feel where those focus points are, and I get into the habit that if I bounce here, it's at shoulder height, and if I bounce here, we're, we're on the center line with both hands. So step one is getting used to that feeling of inwards and outwards, and always passing through, thank you, always passing through this position, not this position. So as you, as you spin, you're reversing here, so the hands one's above the other. 
once you can do that inwards and outwards, you can start, you can start with say both hands in front. So if I turn towards you, my right's going up, my left is down, and they keep circling, that's inwards. My arms are rolling towards each other, towards the other shoulder. If from that position I turn the other way, my right goes up, my left goes down, that's outwards. Right? They're rolling away from each other. So from here, it's always right up, left, down. Once I've got a feeling for both, I can do this. I can pass through that point. That can be surprisingly challenging, especially if you worry about it. So I advise just relaxing. Okay. On the other side, where I, I've got roses over there, it's the right down, the left up. So again, the camera's inwards, and the pool is outwards. And that position I pass through, the right's going down, and the left is going up. So if I'm facing the camera, I can pass through the palm tree, or I can pass through the roses. Camera's always inwards, pool's always outwards, until I can do this. That'll take practice, and it'll probably take friends, if you don't have anybody who knows this already. Getting a few friends together can make this so much more easy and so much more fun to learn. Once you've got it, adding poi will be pretty natural. You just add poi to the hands, focus on the arms doing the same thing, and pretty soon it'll work out. Nice thing is if your arms can do it, it's incredibly easy to train just the poi to do it. So if you take the time to learn this with your hands, you add the poi and pretty quickly you find this will come. Right, which is a lot of fun. If you try to learn it with poi alone, you can do that, but uh, it may, might take longer, and it'll take a lot longer to combine them later on. So if you start with your arms, the poi come uh, quite readily. So, play with that, and then you will know where to pick up for all the other videos you'll see on play poi and split him opposite -y kind of things.